Hey everyone, welcome back to Mumbai. In today's video, we are going to be taking our first ever overnight bus ride here in India. We're going to be going from Mumbai down to a new state called Goa. has started. We managed to pick up our backpacks from our hotel, which of course we checked out from this morning, but they were kind enough to hang onto our bags all day while I worked at Starbucks. And now I think we've got like an hour journey to where we're grabbing the bus tonight. Thank you very much. Okay, we arrived to our bus station. It's kind of like a bus station. It's basically just a travel agency. I'm pretty sure this is where we're picking, they're picking us up at the MA Travel, so we'll see if this is the right place. Normally, people travel from Mumbai to Goa via train, but in this case, to go from Mumbai to Goa, we actually could not get tickets. They were like sold out. But the best way to get from Mumbai to Goa, if not by train or flying, is uh, by bus and this intercity bus is something that we found online we saw it on YouTube it looks really really good it's an overnight bus I think it's supposed to be like 15 hours but it's supposed to be comfortable like double beds in the bus and there's supposed to be a washroom we'll see this will be our first time taking the bus system in India fingers crossed we'll get there in one piece and like not too sick how you feeling about this bus I feel so sick already from the cab ride I get really car sick if you're new to this channel I get really car sick so cab ride it was crummy and I'm really really nervous about the bus ride. We actually specifically chose like our seats on the bus or our bed on the bus to be in a specific spot near the bottom so we're really hoping I will get a little less car sick but if I'm honest we're just not off to a great start today. of the bus is um, it's like a family affair. There's lots of kids walking around. <laughs> Just hanging out. You know, calling for their family members. Um, okay, all, okay, good news though. First really something, really good piece of good news is that there's air conditioning. Thank goodness. And it's like strong. I have a feeling we'll be able to get nice and like cold tonight, which was a worry of mine. Because it's very warm outside all the time. Hello. <laughs> Shall we see what you've got? Let's show you around. Ooh. I've taken some motion sickness tablets. We'll see if they help. Ooh. Okay, so, don't know what these are. <laughs> Good start. We've got what looks like a plug. Oh, and this looks like a USB charger. We'll see if those work in a minute. But the lights do work. So, I mean, that is a good sign. And then we've got the window to my side here uh, with blinds. Unfortunately, there's a giant sticker on it, so you can't actually see out the window. 
Also very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Got some new, <laughs> new bus mates. <laughs> you probably do want the upper bunks, but I'm just thinking that, considering how sick I get, I think the lower bunk is going to keep me a little more healthy on this long journey. But moving along in our tour. <laughs> was this really better than flying? <laughs> it was cheaper than flying. It was cheaper than flying. <laughs> so. I think I need to wait a minute. I don't think I'm going to get a word in. This is Jack Kathy over here. <laughs> okay, now we've each got a blanket which looks honestly really clean. And under here, they're not like detachable pillows. It's like a, like a little raised portion of the bed so that you have like a built-in pillow. And then this sheet that's on top of the bed doesn't come off. It's not like for covering, it's, it stays right there. And then on the other side, we've got a speaker. I'm assuming that's to turn on or off the announcements from the driver. We've also got a rack, which is great because you need a place to put your shoes and then all your stuff so you can sleep because these beds aren't giant. I think they're gonna fit us well, but I don't think you want to be a lot taller than us in here. And I think that's all. I think you've seen the whole thing now. <laughs> all right, this is our uh, this is our home for the next 15 hours. Oh. Um, us and the whole family <laughs> be hanging out here for the next 15 hours. Um, we're gonna see how the first little while goes because uh, we're still going through the city and um, like going still going through like most of Mumbai so it's gonna be pretty sickening yeah <laughs> like lots of twists and turns and stops like this so hopefully it gets a little bit better but first impression so far is that I think we'll be okay I think <laughs> we'll be fine we'll be fine of course you will this it actually is great. It's a nice little spot. It's yeah. cozy. It's like well, like it's wide enough for the two of us, which is really nice. And I think once we draw all the curtains and stuff and people to go to bed, I think it'll be nice and dark and quiet and well, maybe not quiet. The dark. The dark. <laughs> This place is really, really small. Um, there's a sink and a toilet and semi running water. I gotta like push this button here. There's some clear instructions on the wall here. It says only urine, push the button, water. Um, there's a mirror and a very, very noisy fan and one light bulb and a little bum gun thing. It's a pretty simple toilet. Not many people have used it, I don't think, because you need to get a key from the driver and he like has a key that and it's usually locked up. I gotta tell you, it is so hard to open that padlock when the bus is moving because holy smokes, this is a very bumpy bus ride so far. I will also add that this toilet stall is really, really small. So like, you're seeing both walls here and uh, I'm barely fitting. And then my head's almost touching the roof, so you can't really be a big person to use this toilet. So it's 11.30, we've been in the bus for like three hours, and we've, we've, we're making a dinner stop. Look at this place! Would you know it's 11.30 at night? <laughs> somewhere to like order and pay and they give you a little ticket and then you go to like the, the food counter and give that ticket to like the right food person and they'll get you what you want. It's usually pretty simple until they've got like a bunch of food counters and you're like which food counter do I go to? So the man I ordered from was kind enough to direct me to the right food counter this time. It seems a little chaotic when you first look at it but it actually has like a really nice order and process to it. Popcorn and samosas for dinner. <laughs> Just kidding.
doing? We actually already had dinner, but it was really small, so now we're hungry. For 60 rupees, or about a dollar, this is some really good popcorn. The thing is, we only have like 10 minutes left until we have to go back to the, into the bus, mm -hmm. and there is no way that one person or that anybody could eat this popcorn in the bus without shaking it like <laughs> all over the place. Now we're gonna try. So we're gonna have to uh, try to finish it all right now. No way, man! <laughs> Absolutely masamosa. I'm gonna finish my, my half out here. <laughs> Nicole's gonna get popcorn all over the bed. <laughs> Alright, the ride is a little bumpy and a little, a little curvy, but so far we're both feeling pretty good. We're gonna catch some shut eye and we'll see you guys in the morning. See you guys then. We both managed to get a little bit more sleep, but man, was this windy. I actually heard someone get sick in the bunk above us, which was kind of gross. <laughs> but thankfully, I had a new condor and I got sick, so that was lucky. Also, I'm really cold in here now, so thankfully we brought like extra layers and stuff. Um, I have a little scarf that I use as an extra blanket, and I brought big, big socks. Um, it is really great chilly in here. So if you're watching this video because you are going to be doing this bus ride or you're going to do a bus ride in India, bring lots, lots of extra clothes because it's chilly. Even with the little blanket I give you, it is not enough. Um, but we've just been, someone like knocked on our little door and said, hey, your stop was next. So now we are waiting to stop. Outside looks really beautiful. It looks really tropical. It looks really warm. Unfortunately, after this, our travel day is not done. We have to find a way to get about an hour further south because we are heading to South Goa. We don't really know what that's going to look like, but we're comfortable we'll figuring it out. Oh, madam. Taxi. No, we'll get bus. Let me see what the taxi is like. Majorda. Majorda? Yeah. Majorda. Yeah. 3,000. Huh? 3,000. Oh, we will catch the bus. MTN, I'm fine. I think we will look somewhere else first. Thank you. I'll let you know if we need you. If we change our mind, I'll let you know. So the taxi drivers were like hawks. Like, we didn't even get off the bus. And there's like two or three taxi drivers walking in the bus looking for whoever's gonna get off and like whoever needs a taxi. So they instantly spotted Nicole and I. Oh, hello. And uh, offered to take us to where we're going for 3,000 rupees, which is like, oh, like more than half of what we paid for the 15 hour bus ride to get here. It's crazy. Now we're looking for, basically, I don't know what we're looking for. <laughs> We're gonna do some digging and find out. It's a lot of wet stuff there. <laughs> So we made it to the bus station. We got here just by really just asking around. You just kind of ask one person, they point you in the right way, like keep asking for a bus to Margo, and they just kind of keep shooting you in one direction, and eventually you get to a place that seems like you should be able to pick up a bus I to think, the next place. I think I see ticket offices, so let's try this. Yeah. He said go to something number 10. <laughs> so let's find the number 10. <laughs> go fast, go fast, they're both going. Go fast. Okay, thank you. I bought a ticket and then right away he said, go fast, go fast, it's that one right there, okay. Margao. Margao. Here we go, back on another bus. Thank you. What? Was it eventful? Yeah. We did it! Okay. We're off bus number two. I swear, these travel days are gonna be the death of us one day. <laughs> but actually wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. We have one more ride, either via bus or tuk-tuk, yeah. to get to our Airbnb. But where our Airbnb is, we tried to get as close as we can to the beach, 
which means usually there's not a lot of amenities. And right now it's lunchtime and Nicole and I are thinking we probably should just eat here in this small town before going even further into a smaller town. And there's a place here that Nicole loves that we just have to visit because we're just totally over traveling right now and just want something really yummy. Airbnb said not to pay more than 300 for a tuk tuk to go the last few kilometers of this journey. We got it for 300. All right, everyone, we have arrived. We'll show you around very, very quickly. We've actually got a pretty big room here. We've got a bed over here. It actually might be a king size bed. Little wardrobe, full size mirror, window AC just over there. Kitchen table, which is great because we spend quite a lot of time on our computers. Oh, a TV, maybe that works. Fridge, kettle, small kitchen with all of the things that we could possibly need to cook very simple, simple meals. And then into the washroom, which is one of the open concept washrooms that are really, really common here in India. So. You just shower and kind of the whole thing gets wet, but that's okay, it dries pretty quick. I'd say the best part about this space is that it's big, although maybe the second best thing is that it's also got a balcony. So, look at that. This balcony's massive. It really is very big. And then, in case that balcony wasn't enough for you, <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> With a couple of chairs, yeah, there's two. The beach is, I think about a 10 to 15 minute walk away. So. We are not gonna hit the beach today, probably. We both need a shower desperately. After we recover and get a nice shower and do some editing and resting, we'll show you around the Goa area and why the Indians feel like this is probably one of the best places to visit for a nice summer vacation on the beach. Thanks for coming around with us today. We will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Anybody need a dog? <laughs> wow. We got one. Two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Welcome to my favorite place on earth. <laughs>